Hello everyone, for today's presentation, I would like to share how I use a U2D2 with XLT30 and XL430 at the same time. Uh, and actually another alternative title for this talk is about how about new use of old bioalloy hardware. Does that sound intriguing enough? So let's go in here. So essentially I have only one U2D2 and one U2D2 power hub and I want to control XL330 and XL430 at the same time. So as you know, XL4330 want 5 volt and XL430 want 11.1 or 12 volt here. So I look around and I say, oh, but I have some lots of old bioalloy hardware. And I figured out, oh, maybe I can use that OSMPS2 dynamics module and the 3 p extension PCB for something in this project here. And here I come up with, and then uh, the solution I come up with, and I can share with you guys here. So first, if you're always me, you probably recognize the SMPS2 dynamics so here. Usually it's used with 11.1 volt, 12 volt in here, but I put a 5 volt input into it in this case. From the SMPS2 dynamics, so it goes to a 3P extension PCB, which is also an old bioalloy part rarely used now they probably still have a bunch of them nobody buying it so i use this first 3p extension pcb as a 5 volt power hub so you can see there's a regular 3p ttl cable basically bioalloy cable goes in here and then from the extension pc 3p extension pcb it goes to the first xl330 there it uses an X3P TTL cable, so-called convertible cable. So it's carry power only to the first XL330. Between the XL3, uh, first XL330 and the second XL330, I have a regular X3P TTL cable, regular. So this cable carry power and COM for both XL330 servo. Between the last X30, XL330 and the second 3P extension PCB that I use at a communication hub really is another X3P TDA cable convertible. However, it has its middle wire or rather its VDD wire snip. So it can be used only for communication. Okay. So you can see that the five volt circuit go from here up to here and then it got cut off. It doesn't propagate into the communication hub. Okay, so let's take a look at the circuits, power and comp circuit for the XL330, uh, 430, 430. So this is the same 3P extension PCB user, the COM hub. It's here in this picture. So from there, it goes to a U2D2 power hub, another using another X3P uh, TTR cable convertible. But it's VDDY snip again. So the purpose, as you can see, to isolate the 12 volt circuit from the 5 volt circuit. So it's COM only. So there's power 12 volt coming into the U2D2 power hub, but it's normal. From there, it goes to the 2XL430 here using a regular X3P TTL cable. So that carry power and COM here. Inside, finally, the last piece of the puzzle, as you can see that micro USB from the PC to U2D2. From there, there's an X3P TDA cable convertible. It's used only for COM only. It goes into the communication hub also. But you notice that on this X3P TDA cable convertible, I didn't have to snip the VDD line out. Why? Because the U2D2 doesn't use that line in, in the first place. It's dis completely disconnected from its circuit. So at least I don't have to uh, mess around with this uh, converter cable. So essentially you had to sacrifice two X3P TDL cable by snipping the middle wire out of them. And you can connect it, you can create these uh, two circuit. So how does it work? It works fine. This is Dynamics Wizard. You can see all, all of them uh, set at one megabit per second. And I can see they recognize all four of them. And you can control through here, uh, it's just normal. Now, there's an interesting thing that I found out just by accident is that I can set up the 2XL430 to run at 57k BPS and the XL330 at 
uh, one megabit per second. And I can control them, you know, by going through the widget, just playing with them separately each time, and it will find. So this is interesting, though. If you remember, if we use any programming of the uh, DXL SDK, the COM port has a fixed baud rate, and then you can control your dynamics through there. But dynamics widgets seem to be very interesting. I didn't know how to program it or how the USB is programmed, but that COM18 can be swapped between different rate, baud rate on the, on the fly. Okay, so now, so that's interesting. So. So I have, from this uh, experiment, shall we say, in hardware swapping, so I have some suggestions for all this for people. The SMPS Dynamixo, it was, it come from somewhere 2005. So how about revising this one with X3P and X4P connectors, and then people can use it with all the new uh, XL series. Or even better, I have some people struggle with that open CM904, how about putting 3P XL connector here too? Some kind of version with that, so that people can use for XL 320s if they don't want to use two of those big lipo battery there. They can figure out something, some kind of power conversion down to 7.4 volt, and they can use it here. And definitely, you can see the use of that 3P PCB hub. So yeah, we definitely need new X3P. An X4P PCB hub.